Hello, this is Bonna Borlier with our Transformed by Faith Today podcast. Our theme this week is playing in the abundance of God's provision, and our scripture is John 4, 11 through 14, which reads, The woman said to him, Sir, you have nothing to draw water with, and the well is deep. Where do you get that living water? Are you greater than our father Jacob? He gave us the well and drank from it himself, as did his sons and his livestock. Jesus said to her, everyone who drinks of this water will be thirsty again, but whoever drinks of the water that I will give him will never be thirsty again. It's interesting and amazing to think that Jesus provides all we need in life and that when we accept him as our Lord and Savior, we will never be thirsty again. It's interesting in that even though we may not see immediately how our needs will be for be provided for, they still are. Maybe not in how we want, nevertheless, provision is given. That's also the amazing part to me. Christ looks out for us, protects us, and promises us eternal life. Our story doesn't end here on earth. It's only the beginning. How do you see Christ providing in your life today? Are you struggling with things that leave you feeling thirsty for him? Whatever we are feeling or struggling with is not too big or bad for the Lord to forgive. I know I have allowed feelings and things I have done in my past to separate me from the presence of God. When I was finally able to let them go, I was able to feel closer to Him. If you are struggling, what is holding you back from letting go and letting God have all of you? Is it the fear of the unknown? I know I have wondered what would happen if I let go of shame and guilt. What would I do without them? Even though they were holding me back, they were familiar feelings, feelings that I knew what to expect from. Sometimes the familiar, although unhealthy, is comforting, at least for a time. The problem becomes the longer we hold on to them, the harder it is to let go and become free. Christ is ready and willing to fill us with his living water. All we have to do is ask for it. It may be unfamiliar and a bit scary, but mercy, it is so worth it. Fear is often described as forget everything and run, or face everything and recover. I like to think of it now as face everything and rejoice. Rejoice in the freedom and possibilities that Christ offers us every day. Of course, we will still encounter challenges, but with the Lord beside us, we can and will get through them. Will you pray with me? Dear Heavenly Father, I thank you for this beautiful fall day. I thank you for your love and the living water you provide. Please continue to help us when we struggle with letting go and help us to find the freedom in you. Allow us to feel your presence with us always. I ask that you please bless all who hear this message. In your holy and glorious name I pray. Amen.